Under El Pino Quirino, Ilocano yon, El Pino Quirino growth rate average for his seven years in office, 9% a year. Ang growth rate ni Magsaysay, 7% a year. Ang growth rate ni Garcia, 4.5% a year. Ang growth rate ng sino bang before makapagal, 4% a year. O, ano kaya ang growth rate ng golden age? Hindi <laughs> naman. Hindi naman negative. Ang growth rate ni Marcos for his 20 years, ito yung datos ng Philippine Statistical Authority, for 20 years, 3.8% a year. Tanong, golden age ba yan? Ang susunod na datos ay eh, yung wage rate. Ang wage rate, you know, what the workers earn. In 1972, ang index niyan ay eh, 100. In 1980, ang index niyan ay eh, 53.4. In other words, what was earned in 100, what, uh, 100 pesos in 1972 became 53.4. This is for the workers. Tanong! Golden age ba yan? <laughs> enjoy na enjoy ako dito. <laughs> Ngayon, yung inequality naman ng income. Ito yung lahat ay datos at saka nagyito na ito from the School of Economics paper called Analysis of the Economic Crisis. Ngayon, ang inequality between rich and poor, the 60% of the people in 1970 was the share of the 60% of the people was 25%. It went down to 22%. And the share of the top 10% of the people went from 37.1% to 41.7%. Tanong, golden age ba yan? Okay. Now, one more. <laughs> For criminality, pareho rin. 1970, 247,247 247 people were, were, I mean, 247 capital crimes were committed, 1970, per 100,000 population. By 1982, that went up to 313 per 100,000 population. Question, is that golden age? Yeah. It's terrible. I mean, all these are simple data that anybody can look for himself and say, what are they talking about, golden age, and they want to bring it back again? <laughs> Hindi na pwede. Okay? What is the legacy of Marcos? Alam nyo, nagkaroon tayo ng crisis noong 1983. Hindi ba? Alright, what happened to that crisis? Naku, ang... You know, the hole that was dug, the economic hole that was dug, it was not a going up, it was going down. The economic hole that was dug was so deep, ang, 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 what do you call it, debt, foreign debt was so large that it took the Filipino people 14 years at least to get back what it lost under the Marcos years. How can the Marcos years be called golden age? when it took us 14 years to get back to where we were before. So, now you all know the data. No, in other words, Marcos, when he came in, sabi niya, alam niyo, wala kayong bread. In other words, you have no bread, but if you give me your freedom, I will give you more bread. Nakong ganda nun, ano ha? Ayun ang sinabi niya sa umpisa, sa huli. Ano ang sinab ang ano nangyari? Wala na tayong bread, 
lumbong mabang bread natin, wala pa tayong freedom.